Hello, YouTubers and all those who happen to watch. I have a devious underbite. Hmm. So, anywho, just uh, testing out the camera here for the Sony Vloggy. Uh, apparently this also does, or is, works as a web camera. So if you're trying to do a quick video in a pinch here on YouTube, you can, you know, use this to record briefly and then upload to YouTube and go off and do whatever the heck you're going to do at the uh, factor called real life. Uh, personally, I really enjoy the camera so far. While this quality so far on this camera right there is kind of grainy on my end, at least what I see, uh, it, it's pretty good. It's uh, The frames are pretty steady. Like, I haven't really noticed any skipping yet. Probably it's going to happen within a couple months since as I said that now. Knock on some wood. So, ooh. Whoa, as I drop the uh, buggy box. A bloggy box, excuse me. But, pretty awesome. Let's put it there. Works good that way. So, as you can also see right here, I gotta, I'm going to start building this wall and put, preferably, perhaps, maybe a green screen or something. Something I can temporarily put up. Uh, for example, uh, I got this stuff here on this wall, which is, uh, actually on this would be a good example, uh, this is held up by those uh, 3M, you know, the sticky things you put on the wall. So what I was actually thinking of doing is, because they have Velcro on two ends of it, you could actually swap out or interchange what's on the wall. So my idea was, I was going to put, because these things, these 3Ms are pretty strong, they're pretty sturdy, I get like a couple on each end on the top and just have it like sort of caped over it. Not caped, but caped, and uh, put it across this and angle the camera just right. Because I'm also testing to see the angle of this wall. Because I do still have the green screen on that wall. Besides this mattress over, where's the mattress? With sort of, I'll use a thumb backwards. There we go, right back there. And I cannot go over there and do too much recording with this camera at the moment because the damn mattress is still sitting there. So by, you know, mid-spring, I'll, I'll be gone and, you know, everything will be all happy, peachy-dory. So I have to find some green or some nice, good, uh, you know, chroma key style, uh, mat, like, you know, a sheet. And I've seen a lot of sheets that are actually the exact color I need, which is like a really limish, bright green, which is uh, perfect, or blue, or a nice, you know, very bold blue that, you know, stands out throughout the rest. And it would actually be quite easy to do so because I can, of course, get some, you know, industrial lights, put them around the room and certain aspects, certain, you know, uh, corner or kitty corner uh, elements where I can actually angle it just right, swap it between the walls. But again, it's, this is an idea that's flowing through my mind. Something that I could be able to put across all this here so it doesn't damage the posters or any of the frames and just, you know, put it over there so if I'm not using it, I just go shh, shh. You know, take it off, put it to the side, and, you know, when I need it, shh, shh, put it back on again. It's something like that. As you can notice right here, I just had a Hershey's bar. It was quite yummy. Um, <laughs> but without further ado, let's uh, see who's in the chat here. I see one gentle person. Hello, Sam Sam. How you doing? Sorry about the late response. Uh, I had it on this at the moment because I'm seeing if there's any frame rates. Let me see if I can turn this camera. I hope. Yep, 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 I can. And right now I'm just seeing if the camera... Well, that's like a time warp thing right there. Woo! <laughs> I can see if the uh, camera is initially... you know, doing any lagging or anything like that, frame rate drops. So that way, in the future, I can have better things planned and accordingly. The ironic thing, by the way, is I also got this right here, which I thought this initially was going to be good for green screen, which is this uh, blanket, but it, it somehow, it doesn't work. Like, I tried it before, and it was like very bad chroma key going on with that. It was just like... You would see green everywhere around me. It was just like a glowing aura or something, you know, like I was somehow reflecting green off of it. I mean, I know I don't take showers, but you know, 
Not kidding. So, but oi, whew. So, what games has everyone been playing recently? See, that's the thing I dislike about taking, like, uh, using the certain shampoo I use. It looks, it makes my hair look oily after, like, I wash it really good. So, it will come out, you know, very full and fluffy and all that. It'll be fine after, but it would just be like, <laughs> even though I use conditioner, which is pretty ironic. Conditioner is supposed to help that out, but. <laughs> Comment withheld. The author withheld the comment. <laughs> Let's see. Some pickups I've gotten recently. I'll put this plate here on the side. I was using this plate to actually, when I was cleaning some stuff on my desk here before, I didn't want to get anything inside my keyboard. So initially what I did with it was I just placed it on top while I was like cleaning, you know, some of the heads. My heads, but, uh, well, yeah, Insert dirty joke there. Um, you know, cleaning the contacts on things as well as clearing out any grime or anything of that nature with my controllers. Because uh, I was just cleaning this one recently, had a little bit of, little bit of, uh, you know, some dead skin particles, some dirt. Cleaned it out. Did the uh, daily routine clean. Gredzadas. <laughs> I see someone is a Pokemon Pearl. Uh, fan. <laughs> Do I ask what Pokemon it is yet? Because I have yet to play this game. <laughs> I heard very good things of Pearl as well, so I have to try it at some point. So I'm too busy hooked with a couple games, which is uh, Dragon Quest IX, because I'm still trying to you know, get some of the... My goal in that game in Dragon Quest IX is to get to level 99, at least four characters. Then get, you know, some end game gear. Once I get that, I'll feel content and stop playing. You know, I won't even bother to transcend. I'll just stop it there and just walk off and do some other things. Uh, I'm also preoccupied with this right here. And some Rayman Origins. Pretty darn good game, I'd have to say. It's, I mean, while a lot of people doubt the modern gaming market, there's games that they do throw out every once in a while, such as this, which is sort of like a throw back to the first Rayman, which is actually pretty good. This is this is actually quite nice. It has like 60 levels of, you know, awesomeness. And, you know, to me, it's an awesome throwback. It, it looks fantastic in HD, too. It's just like, oh, you know, awesome, sharp visuals. It's just mm, really good. You have to pick it up at some point. But this chair needs some WD-40 really badly. Like, it, it screams for WD-40. It says it every time it squeaks. It goes, give me some oil. And I just look down at it going, soon. And I never do it. I end up procrastinating or beginning to get it. Got another copy here I need to uh, send out to Big Daddy Darth pretty soon. Keep that right there. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, giving him a little visit there. I was checking to see the uh, some of the kinky underwear he got, probably the undies, and as well as uh, what is it, the holy caps. <laughs> I was watching. I was chuckling. I was like, "Oh, geez!" But it was pretty awesome to kick back in there for a little while. Then I was looking through my camera, you know, because I was like up unloading some stuff. Because I actually have a review I want to edit together, and that is for ugh. God, this chair. It's starting to bother me now. <laughs> for the seventh guest, so I wanted to actually do a you know little review. I mean, it's just me standing in front of the camera and talking about the the game for a little while and sort of 
on the cuff kind of pulling the thing out of the box, showing stuff inside of it and all that. I mean, it's already recorded. I just need to uh, do some slight editing, you know, a couple bits and pieces here and there, and that'll be up within the week. It's gonna be. It's not gonna be anything that great, though. It's just gonna be something, you know, straightforward. I want to really show some gameplay of this game, but at the same time, it's because of uh, the Fat Man, which is the guy who composed the music for this game. You know, he's he copyrighted the music more recently. I think it was like 2010 or something like that. He put a patent on all the music again, so it's just like son of. A bitch. <laughs> so you gotta battle that, and it's really aggravating. Really, I mean, I understand it pays his bills, but. It's very aggravating if you're trying to do content or do a video in general because you have this damn thing cross your uh, thing blocking from certain countries. This is like really. At some point, I'm actually thinking about, um, pardon me, ooh, that was nasty, ooh, ooh, that was horrible, oh, no more comp, like a combination of coffee and oily food ever again, ooh, ooh, I'm sorry, that was nasty, so, Probably next video, I'm going to try using the camera here in front of my TV or record and do some gameplay of Rayman Origins for uh, War the Universe or this channel. I'm not sure which yet. Probably this channel. something going here. Weird, it keeps on saying comment removed or something of that nature. I think what the heck I want to do first. Oh, that's what I wanted to show. Close that for now. Put that there. You're coming with me. What I did with my TV. Back out of the way. I've. This has made a mess. I <laughs> put. Some nice little space invaders there. There. Yeah, Soul Sacrifice is actually a lot like uh, Monster Hunter, supposedly, for the uh, PS Vita, right?
Like, I was looking at Soul Sacrifice before. I don't own a Vita yet, so I have to, you know, wait a little while, because I'm still waiting for at least 25 games for the system to come out that are actually uh, something that catches my interest, nothing like a port or anything of that nature, just a straight barrel kind of video game. Soul Sacrifice looked interesting to me, though. Like, that's probably something I would probably pick up and play. Oh, the price of Vitas keep on going down steadily, so that's something interesting to uh, note. Yeah, with the PS Vita, it's like still two two forty nine ninety nine, or sorry, two forty nine ninety six at Walmart. I mean, I've been looking at them, but at the same time, I want to buy them when they're um, cheaper, like two hundred dollars flat. I mean, if it's two hundred dollars flat, then that's something I could easily, you know, plan for, uh, get some money together to get. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Capcom has no plans to actually put up Monster Hunter on the PS Vita, which is sort of suicide, I'd say, because it's they would probably get a lot of sales to the Vita if they were to put a, put that game on there, because the PlayStation Vita does have you know a lot of a ton of potential as a handheld, a ton of potential. I mean, there's a couple games that are already out on it that are awesome. They're great, but you know, and plus the the handheld itself would make up for a perfect. Um, you know, uh, brain fart, a platform for it, and so it would just pretty much be a given. It would be a perfect handheld for it. But I guess Capcom just being uh, silly nallies. All right, someone wants me to play a couple of games with them, so I'm going to go and do that. So, uh, camera works okay. You know, the frame rates aren't so bad. It's kind of grainy when it comes to being a web camera, but it does its job, I suppose. So, all right, guys. Take it easy. Take care. And touch your nipples, Dan.